What's up guys? Welcome to episode 4 of the ledge climbing series. In today's episode we're going to add in the animations to jump up and grab the ledge and the idle hanging animation. If you have any questions you can ask those on discord. The link is down in the description. Do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button to help my videos reach more people. And don't forget the notification bell to be notified when the next video comes out. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first we need to just double check something real quick. Need to double check our interface and make sure we didn't set up a custom event to update our climbing states. Um, so go in your animation blueprint in your panel down here on the bottom left, double click update climbing states. Okay, make sure that it goes to your interface graph that we created right here. As long as that is like that, then we are good to go there. So now we can go ahead and import the animations. If you haven't downloaded those yet, the link is down in the description. You can download those and get those imported. I'm gonna add those in the ledge climbing system, create a new folder, animations. Select the SK, so the UE4 mannequin. Import all. Set that up. All right, so that one's working okay. And the hanging item's working okay. All right, um, we do need to set these to root motion. So go ahead and set that to root motion, open them up and set them to root motion. Um, even the hanging idle is gonna need to be root motion. Enable root motion, save that. All right, and then we want to create the idle to brace hang. We want to create a and a montage for that and I'm gonna call that idle to hang montage and we can go ahead and save that <clears throat> and then we need to go into our BPC ledge climbing um, our set on wall where we have our play montage. So our montage to play here, we're gonna select that. Idle to hang montage. Um, no, let's go ahead, go ahead and open your montage up. We need to set that up first. I forgot about that. So open your montage up. And we're gonna set a notify in here. So basically where you wanna set your notify is where you're starting to jump. So basically where you're leaving the ground. So right about 14.48 looks good, about 37.2%. And then right here where your notify track one is, you'll right click on the line there, add notify, montage notify, and you're gonna save that and close that and now we can modify the code in the component so after I play montage we need to move this stuff out output disconnected there like that and then from our on notify begin is where we need to go. So we need to get owning character reference. Um, and then we're gonna add a jump in, just a function jump. Add that onto the on notify begin. And then from that, 
We're going to get the character movement. Orient, set orient rotation to movement. We're going to leave that false. So leave that unchecked. And then we get our wooden character reference again. Use controller rotation yaw. We want to set that and we're going to leave that false also. Connect that to the update climbing state. So we need to set our climbing state to hanging here. And then this we can just move up. And we can disconnect this top one now. Let's move that up. And compile and save that. And then also we need to make sure on our move component to that we click force shortest rotation path and compile and save that again. And let's go ahead and play and test that out. And we're jumping up to grab the ledge. So we're good there. Montage is working correctly. Uh, so now we need to set up our idle hang in the anim graph. So go to your animation blueprint, uh, go to the anim graph, and we're gonna create a new state machine. State machine. And we're gonna name this one Ledge Climbing Locomotion. And we're gonna set our cached pose so we did on our other ones change that one to ledge climbing locomotion cache highlight those hit see a comment ledge climbing and change Go ahead and double click on our state machine and down in our asset browser um, should see hanging idle if not search just search for hanging and four off of that and from the entry we're just going to connect that and then compile then we're going to go back to the anim graph and move our output pose out some from our default slot, we're going to um, blend poses by bull. Blend poses by bull. We're gonna move that from the true to the false. Go down here to our variables. We're gonna get the climbing state. Set equal enum set that to hanging duplicate that climbing state to the top pin and on ledge and we need to do or boolean both of those and then connect that to the active value and then from the true pose we're going to use cache pose ledge climbing locomotion and compile and save that let's go ahead and test that out now we should go when we go up to grab the ledge now we should be in the idle state now we can adjust our values to where we need them to be at. So in our ledge climbing component, let's go to your ledge height location XY. I'm gonna set this to 36. And I'm gonna set this to 121. The Z is gonna be 121 and the XY is gonna be 36. You can set the uh, 
X, Y to what you want. The Z is pretty spot on for where it needs to be at. Um, X, Y is up to you. You are going to clip, your feet are going to clip through the wall still. That's because of the, uh, the animations, just the way the animations are set up. But now we have... Okay. So I can rotate my camera. If you have... Uh, your yaw access shouldn't be turning your character if you're using the turn in place. Um, I don't have the turn in place connected because I like to use the uh, the camera to turn around me. So as long as you have this set up already, uh, if you're using just the turn in place, then you should be okay. If you are using the camera lock you'll need to go to your BP third person character and up here where we have our camera lock set up in the event graph we're gonna drag this camera lock over and we're gonna grab everything here and we're gonna paste that copy and paste it and we're gonna connect that to the walking so the camera lock will be connected to the walking. Go ahead and compile and save that. And hit play. Test that out. Now if you hit left and right, it should not move you. You shouldn't be able to turn the character. So now that we got that all set up, good to go with that part um, I did want to go over real quick the jump stuff I did adjust some stuff so I wanted to go over that with you guys um, I fixed the issue with it hanging when you fall off the ledge kind of hangs in the loop before it lands um, and then also smooth out the transition for the landing and it's still got a little bit of a pause there that's because of us disabling and then enabling root motion um, once i get a better fix for that figured out i will um, update that so that we can get that taken care of but it's at least a little bit smoother still gonna have that little bit of a pause but um, looks much better when you're falling off the the ledge so i'm um, just kind of show you guys what i did so from your uh, locomotion to your jump um, set your duration for your blend settings to 0 0.2 from your jump to your falling I've got that set to 1 and Hermite cubic in out uh, the first one was Hermite cubic in out also and then falling to land I've got set to cubic at 0 0.2 and then from land to locomotion I've got set to cubic and that's set to 1 as well so just something real quick I wanted to go over. I know today's a little bit of a short episode. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this this one up. I just wanted to get the um, idle to grab and the hanging idle animation put in. In the next episode, we're going to do the sideways movement on the ledge and get the code set up for that. Um, that's probably going to be 40, 40 minutes to an hour. Um, so I wanted to get the animations and stuff set up in this video just a quick little update to the climbing system and you know adjust the jumping so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I'll see you in the next episode peace